Welcome to our channel. One of the commonest questions we've been getting is, what's the difference between the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro and then the ATEM Mini? That's specifically the question we want to answer with this video. Before we talk about the differences, I, I just want to quickly state the similarities. Now, if you look at the two devices, these are two different devices. I'm having the ATEM Mini Pro and then ATEM Mini. Right from the back, they look the same. The USB-C port, then uh, followed by the Ethernet port, then the output port and then the input port for HDMI input. So the ATEM Mini, the ATEM Mini lines are all HDMI uh, devices that takes four HDMI in and one HDMI out. This, if you want one of these to buy and you are in GH, Nigeria or Togo or anywhere close to West Africa, then go to bellsmile.com and place an order and it will be delivered to you. Now let's continue. The ATEM Mini has four HDMI inputs, just like the Pro. For HDMI input and they have an output port. Now the output port on the ATEM Mini can be used as a preview or as a program. On the Mini you cannot set the output port to do a multi-view. So if you really need a multi-view in your production then you have to consider investing a little more money to buy the ATEM Mini Pro. Now the next port here is the USB-C cam. So the USB-C port so on the ATEM Mini, it is labeled as a webcam out, but on the Pro, it is labeled as a USB out. One of the advantages the Pro have over the Mini is that with the Pro, you can do a full production without using a PC. As to whether you have a computer or not, you can do a live streaming on this, on this, uh, you can do a live streaming with the Pro without using a PC. So all you need is to connect an internet, to connect your internet directly into the, uh, the ATEM Mini. Then you can live stream to Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. But on the Mini, before, for you to be able to do a live streaming on the Mini, you really have to connect the USB-C port, from, connect a cable from the USB-C port to your computer, a PC or a Mac, and then use a streaming software, Vimex, Wirecast, OBS, uh, OBS Streamlab, before you'll be able to do a live streaming with this. So if you're on a budget, maybe you don't have the money to, to invest in the, those, the expensive laptops we are using for the live streaming now, then you can avoid buying one of those expensive laptops. So you can buy a cheap laptop or some simple i3 laptop that costs just less than uh, getting an i7 16 gig RAM, 4 gig dedicated that we usually use for live streaming. Then you can get one of those small laptops in addition to this one for the live streaming. With a Pro, you are able to live stream direct from the device. So when you have an internet connected to the device, you can stream. You can also connect the USB-C port to a PC and stream if you so want. But the main purpose of this port, the USB-C port here, is so you can record your, um, so you can record your production onto a hard disk. So if you have any USB-C hard disk, an SSD, you connect it directly to it, and then you just push record and it starts recording. But the only thing about it that uh, seems to bug me a little is that it, the ATEM Mini Pro has one encoder. What it means is if you are live streaming, whatever quality you are live streaming at, that is the same quality it will record. I wish I could be able to record a higher quality onto the hard disk and then uh, stream at a different quality. But unfortunately, I think uh, they have to make some sacrifices to get the prices uh, as low as what it is now. So you have to keep that in mind that if you are recording, you can only record the same quality you are streaming to. So if your internet cannot uh, support a very high streaming and you are forced to decrease or reduce the resolution and reduce the bit rates of or reduce the quality of your stream, know that it is definitely going to affect the quality of your uh, recording. So with that said, so if you realize that you don't really need a, uh, if you don't really need a multi view and all you need is just a, a simple preview, then you can get the meaning. But if you need a multi-view or you want a hardware encoder, then you can go for the Pro. And so that's the purpose of this video, to let you know the differences between the ATEM Mini and then the ATEM Mini Pro. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you like what you saw today, kindly share to your friends and let them also watch and subscribe and like. If you want one of these, don't forget, go to bellsmile.com and place an order and it will be delivered right to you or you can pick it up from one of their stores. Thank you. Bye.